Harmonious gang and I'm starting my vlog at Plumber Park right now. Today's gonna be a really interesting day because I'm actually gonna meet one of my Harmonious gang members. I guess he's been watching my videos. I forgot where he's from exactly. I kind of feel like a dickhead for not remembering that but he's visiting California right now. He landed last night and he said he wants to skate around, go around LA, get drone clips, get footage and he said he's just down to basically help me out get some footage so I'm completely down with that. If I do get some drone footage that'll be perfect for my new intro because I am working on a new intro right now. I know it's been taking forever but it's gonna be coming out soon. So that's the whole plan right now. I'm basically on my way to Brooklyn Project to go meet up with him and Dylan Can to go uh, skate somewhere. The reason why I'm starting my vlog at Plumber Park is because it's really rare for a new skate spot to be introduced into my area or at least this close to my house. And I've been skating at Plumber Park for years and I never thought they would do this but there used to be benches right over here. They took the benches out and now you could pop straight from here onto that rail. That rail is completely skatable. It's still pretty freaking high for a rail but I might be able to get a like a front board slide, maybe a lift slide or maybe even a 50-50 all the way down. But for now Dylan and this guy De Niro is waiting on me so I'm gonna head to Brooklyn Projects and meet up with them. Let's get it. Harmonious world out there. Yeah. Harmonious. Very, very harmonious. Scrumptiously, obviously harmonious. Peace. I'm now at Brooklyn Project. I already met up with the homie De Niro. I guess he went to go grab a stabilizer to like get some pictures or some videos. I didn't take out the camera yet just because I want to say what's up. It's kind of weird to like bring out a camera when you're meeting someone for the first time. So I was like freaking freak without the camera. I think the plan for now is just to skate this thing. Oh. I haven't even done a single trick yet. I, actually, I, like I messed up on Ollie on my way here. Even. Okay, like 25 lighters on my track. So, I woke up still there, forgot the grip. Sure. Hey, I'm sick of the drugs like it's my best. I'm now in front of OSS and the reason why we came here is because they have two new benches in front now. They didn't put the benches here themselves. I guess some kids dropped them off. There's like a white one right over there. There's a red one right over here. Super freaking sick. I'm excited to skate them. Here's one of my top uh, Harmonious Gang followers, Phil. You better not be in the video. Aw, uh, what do you mean? You have 500,000 views on YouTube, bro. You're famous. Yo, this is De Niro. This is the guy visiting from hey. Houston. Didn't come here specifically because of the vlog. Just came here to visit LA, but it's dope that he came uh, to say what's that. up, we came dude. Here for the vlog. Hell yeah, that. dude. The vlog. Fucking Harmonious here. Gang. Harmonious Gang. That was confusing as fuck. All right, I'm gonna start skating these freaking ledges right now. Set up a couple angles and get it.
I know this is gonna sound weird, but usually when I go skate or usually when I set up my like my shoes and my gear just to go skate, I usually double sock it. I don't know why, it's really freaking random. I've been doing it since I've like since I started skating when I was like 13, 14. Well, like even way before that, but I started doing it like when I was like 13, 14. Double socking it for some reason gives me like a better feel for my shoe. And today I decided to say screw it, I'm only wearing a single pair, and boom, I was not able to land that many tricks. So that's why that edit was actually really short right there. Meeting with De Niro, super freaking sick. All his homies are really dope. It's really sick that he actually came out to LA just to say what's up. So huge shout out to De Niro. Here's his Instagram, go check him out. He's actually like a producer, videographer, photographer. Right now I'm at BP with the homie Dylan, AKA Buddha Blessed on Instagram right over here. He's actually gonna be the designer for the merch line that I'm gonna be doing. A headshot, all right. This is the guy behind the design of my clothes that I'm gonna be giving to everyone and hopefully gonna be selling one day. Before I go continue on the day, I actually have something planned. I think I might do like a street climb later on the day. But before I continue on, I wanted to sit down for like 10, 20 minutes with Buddha Bless and just discuss about the designs on the merch, what we're gonna do. I already have a kind of an idea of what I want. So I just wanted to sit down for like 20 minutes and just plan it out. Okay, so slight change of plans. Dylan says that he actually does need like the comfort of his workspace at home, like basically his studio. And I actually completely understand that. I kind of feel the same way about my editing and a couple other stuff. It is gonna take a couple days for me to get these designs finished and everything so these shirts are gonna be printed probably in like two three weeks and I will be shipping them out by like within a month at least but the design does mean a lot to me it's really cool that I have one of my best friends that I've known since like childhood doing the design for me in the first place and I'm even more happy that I'm able to give it out all for free at this point in time so I'm really hyped about that the Sun is setting really really quick right now and I do not have time to go pick up Dylan and come back here so I decided I'm just gonna do this by myself I got kind of confused the the guitar center location which I'm not gonna do today has like these giant stair like kind of it's kind of weird like the front in the building looks like a giant stair set but the each stair is probably I don't know maybe 10 feet high so that's kind of kind of what I wanted to climb up but this Ralph's one I definitely can't climb all the way down it but it would be cool to get all the way onto the roof and get like an angle of me standing up there I still think I might do it I'm just gonna go check it out in a sec let me show you guys what I'm talking about so here's the Ralph's here's like the parking lot to the Ralph's there's been like a lot of prank videos and stuff like that filmed in this parking lot and that's where I'm gonna enter I'm gonna enter like all the way around there go all the way to the top and I want to climb all the way onto that thing and maybe all the way up there as well because that look, looks like an interesting place to stand right I'm I'm gonna go check it out right now. Yeah, I left the DSLR in my car just so I can bring just the GoPro. From the first look, looks really simple, looks really easy. Yeah, I think I can do it pretty effortlessly. There's just a ton of people up here right now. Boom, there it is. Up there, up there, and close the roof. I'm just getting really freaking nervous right now. Like my heart's beating like crazy. I think I just have to go for it. Just say screw it and go for it. Dang, I sure left my local hat in the freaking car as well, but I'm just gonna put it right here for now. Hopefully no one touches it. All right, right here, fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? difficult honestly let me know what you guys think about these climbing videos I know I started off as like a skateboarding channel then I was just doing all types of stuff I'm actually trying to like do all types of different stuff music video skateboarding but let me know if you guys enjoy this climbing stuff I really enjoy it that's for sure let me know what you guys think about it all right I think I'm gonna head out because for sure security is on the way or something Boom. all right I'm gonna go pick up Dylan take care of all that stuff I was talking about. Maybe catch another skate session later in the day or make another climb, I don't, I'm not sure. Either way, let's continue the day and get the f out of here. It is now the next day and I have to say that that climb was a lot easier than expected. Whenever I see these things from the street or whenever I happen to find new climbs or these new buildings that I want to get onto, it always seems like there's a lot of security, there's gonna be a lot of people that notice you or it's gonna be really difficult to get up there. But so far, these past like couple things that I've done have all been really easy. Granted, maybe I, I am just choosing really easy stuff to climb. Either way, once again, I was up there for a cool minute and then I started getting nervous. I started getting kind of anxious. I was worried that uh, there was security on their way and I did see a lot of people in the parking lot like looking at me and like pointing at me so I did feel like I had to leave there but I'm gonna go back because there was another like a secondary roof that I could get onto from that roof that I was on but I would have to go on from the other side it's really confusing but I can get much higher on that roof I was planning on going to downtown today which has much much higher buildings they have like 20 30 story buildings and I could probably get way cooler footage up there but editing this vlog ended up taking much much longer than I expected but either way like I said earlier let me know what you guys think about this climbing stuff I do plan on doing a lot more of it a lot more sketchy spots a lot cooler spots I just have to find the locations first and then kind of like build up my climbing skills but this is going to be the end of the video so please leave a like if you guys enjoyed watching this video please leave a comment exercising your freedom of speech in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already click that notification button if you guys want to be notified every time i post a video thank you guys for watching peace
post, now I'm a little L.